Today I will be sharing with you four techniques. All four of them were proven to knock out opponents in real fights. In the first two, you're going to use your heel to hit the opponent. And the third and fourth one, you use a roundhouse kick. It's similar to the Miyagi Compasso, but it has no spin. The leg goes from behind like a scorpion attack. It's pretty dangerous because I bring my head down low. That's when I can get kicked or knee to the face. It will be safer to have your hands covering your face as you go down. You can either place both of your hands or one hand on the ground. One hand will give you more freedom to move because your other hand won't be pinned to the ground. And what seems to be most confusing to people I've teached them before is where you're looking from. Most people think that if their leg is going from behind, so their eyes should be. But in this attack, you're looking from one side and kicking from the other side. In Capoeira, I've seen this setup works before. As if I'm going to kick to one side and then the leg comes from the other side like so. This kick has several names. We're going to call it Scorpio for today, which means scorpion. The next kick is the famous capoeira kick, Mialogi Compasso, that can be also performed with two hands or with one hand. If you're going to kick it with one hand, you have the other hand covering your face, which might be a little bit on the safer side. We're watching tons of UFC fights combined with more than two decades of experience I have in Capoeira. I was finally able to give back to all of you guys for all the support and growth that came recently. I put together a completely free guide on the key elements from Capoeira that can almost instantly improve your game in every martial art. I will personally email it to you. All you need to do is click the link below and you'll get your guide. The most common mistake when people try to learn this kick is that they're not aiming their foot right. This is the common mistake. If my heel point upwards, it won't hit my partner right. I want to have my foot turned like so. These techniques work really well with a setup where you kick two Miyagi compasses in a row. That way the opponent gets scared of the first kick then he comes into attacking and he gets hit by the second kick. The next kick was found to be the most powerful kick in a research that National Geographic did. And it looks like this. Latif's capoeira kick traveled nearly 100 miles an hour, faster than a major league fastball. The blow delivered a stunning 1,800 pounds of force. What's most important to understand about capoeira kicks is the kinetic power that they're generating. The first sweep is used to get the opponent's attention towards his foot. At that moment, I coil and then I kick upwards with a jump and a roundhouse kick. Again, fake coil, jump, roundhouse. In order to generate as much kinetic power as possible, in this kick you can also imagine your body as a whip. Try to elongate the movement and snap it at the end. This kick is called Martel Nushan, which translates to hammer kick from the ground. Next is Parafuse. So from the Jenga stance, I turn 19 degrees. Now this is my new base. Try to get a feel of the spring here. Now I turn and as I bring my weight towards the front leg, my right leg in this case, I jump with a coiled knee and snap a roundhouse kick. This kick was used beautifully by Venola in Bellator. Powerfuls can also be very good at covering distance or confusing your partner about the distance because, because I'm actually able to jump pretty far while executing this kick. Let me know which of the kicks you think is the most effective and the most powerful one. Here I tried to sequence them into a three hit combo. If you still doubt that capoeira can help immensely all sorts of fighters. I mean, I, I study capoeira. Watch Joe Rogan and one of you sees Top three fighters discuss does capoeira work for MMA? That shit works. Yeah. 